Hey y'all, it's Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we're going to be playing with some Dollar Tree makeup. Some of this I've played with before and I absolutely love. And I think like one or two items I have not played with yet. But super excited to try them out. So before we get started with this Dollar Tree makeup, be sure to hit the subscribe button down below. Hit that bell so you get notified every time I post a new video. Also be sure to like and comment down below what you would like to see next. And also be sure to follow me on my socials so you get more content, find some things, and yeah. Well, let's get started. Okay, so I don't have anything for brows. So I'm going to go ahead and do that off camera real quick. And then we'll come back for the eyes. They have brows done. I'm not entirely sure. I've never used one before. A shadow stick. I don't know if you're supposed to prime before. Or just put it on. <laughs> Use it as like a primer. I have this LA Colors shadow stick I picked up. I thought it was really pretty. In the shade blue. I just don't know if you're supposed to like use a primer before. But I feel... Because I use concealer. And then a little bit of powder on top. So I don't know if the powder would mess it up. Or the concealer would mess it up. So I kind of just want to go in with no primer. And we'll just see how it goes. I guess I've never used them before. So I assume you just put it on like a normal like a shadow and then just blend it out, I guess. Very blue. I'm just gonna clean this brush off. Another Dollar Tree find that I absolutely love is this bad boy. You can find it at like Ross and stuff too. But it's just a makeup cleaner for your brushes. Just a quick and easy makeup cleaner. Now this also has to be cleaned too, and I have not cleaned it in a while, so <laughs> I definitely need to clean it so it cleans my brushes better. But you just wipe it off and then you have like little to no shadow on your brush so that you can go back in and oh this definitely still has shadow in it, but I kind of like how it looks. That was a bad example, but it's also really, really dirty. That doesn't help either. But I do really like it though, I promise. It is a really good tool. Just kind of dirty. Really, 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 really need to clean all my brushes and that thing. Probably also doesn't help that I just cleaned a eyeshadow brush that had black on it in this as well. So I'm probably picking up some of that black pigment on accident. Honestly, I'm not minding how this little extra shadow is looking. It's kind of adding to the look, I feel like. In a good way or a bad way, I have no clue. I think it's kind of cool. Now I do also also have these like single shadows that I picked up. I've used they're from NYX, but I've used them like once and I hated them. I'm really not the biggest fan of these, but we're gonna use it anyways. We go into this brown one, Happy Hour. I'm just gonna kind of pack it in the outer corner and kind of bring it through the crease. Maybe this will help set that shadow stick as well. Might also pop some of this blue in there too. This is in the shade Voyeur, like a little bit in the inner corner. I'm probably just gonna like throw these away. They just do nothing. I use the back of this hand because there's not. See, it just. Like, what is that? I'm getting like all up in there. And it's just like. Mm, all up in there. <laughs> and then it's just like mid. Like. I played with them once and hated them. Playing with them the second time, still hate them. And then even like with primer as well, I did it with primer and it still just sucked. The eye crown was interesting. I don't know if you played with it right or not, but it's still, I mean, what we got looks pretty. Yes, that's what we're gonna stick with. I have a lot of liner options, a lot. <laughs> I love this Ioni stick liner. Love this. It is so creamy. This LA Color eye marker. Absolutely love this. Also have this LA Color tattoo stamp pin. I don't know if these are the same thing. They just changed the name or what? Oh, 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 oh. Never mind. Never mind. I remember what these are now. They're literal stamp pins. I also picked these up. There's a moon one. And then there is a heart. Totally forgot I picked these up. There's a star. We'll have to use these. And then a flower. Just little like stamp pins. I totally forgot these were there. Okay. It like it finally registered in my brain. So the stamp pins and the eye marker are two different things. But I love the eye marker. And I would assume this would be the same liner formula just as a stamp. But I have this, which I love doing my liner with. And then I picked up this from Ioni. Just a white eyeliner pencil. And then I have some more LA color liners. These are like some metallic ones. I have a purple, a gold, and a rose gold. And then I also have a blue eye marker. And then I also picked this up. It's a the hard candy liner. I think this is rose gold as well, but I have all of these and they're pretty good I'm just gonna do my normal liner with my eye marker. So I went ahead and did my liner off camera I got the eyeliner done. I also tight lined my upper lid with the Ioni pencil I love that pencil. I'll show you more how it works on the lower lash line I also primed off camera because I don't have any products for that So we'll just go right into foundation and for foundation I have this covergirl clean fresh foundation I found this at Dollar Tree in Daytona Beach I believe it was we went down there for my birthday one of the years and I picked up this and I it's like became one of my favorite foundations. So we're gonna use that today. And I'm also gonna use this sponge that I've picked up from the Dollar Tree as well. This is it when it's not wet, but I don't feel like getting up to go wet it. So I just put some setting spray on it and we're gonna do our foundation. Usually this is like a nine 
dollar foundation i think and i got it for a dollar 25 at dollar tree so make sure to look out at dollar tree for some stuff like this i've gotten a lot of stuff from the cover girl clean fresh line there which i will show you in a minute but i love this line i love this foundation i would love to try out the powder and the concealer i think they have as well my elf concealer since i don't have anything for concealer from dollar tree i haven't found anything that like interests me concealer wise for contour i use this maybelline superstay foundation it's a multi-use foundation stick i do love this stuff but i personally would not be buying it again because i didn't know that maybelline was not cruelty free when i bought these i'll not purchase again but i think i still have a long way to go before i even think about buying another contour stick well, it's not technically a contour stick, but it's a multi-use stick, so I use it for contour. But I try to keep my makeup vegan and cruelty-free as best as I can. And when I purchased this at the time, I didn't realize that this brand was not cruelty-free. I mean, I could have looked it up, but I didn't think about it, so I didn't know they were not cruelty-free. So for blush, I have so many options. It's insane. It's not that many options, but it's like four. I have these LA Color Cream Gel Blushes. And then I also have this CoverGirl Clean Fresh Blush. I love these. These, like what the color you see on the packaging is what color blush you're going to get, basically. So that's what I love about these. And then they're also just a really nice formula for a really affordable price. So I love these. I think just to keep it the Clean Fresh theme, we'll go with this one. I hadn't used this in a while. So we'll go with this one. I totally forgot I had this. I love this blush. It was my favorite for like a while. A little bit goes a long way with this but it's just so pretty I think this blush is stunning also from the covergirl line i have these highlighter sticks they are so pretty they smell like baby powder though if you like that baby powder smell then these products are definitely for you i don't mind it too much i kind of just swiped them on my hand they're not blended in but just so you kind of see them if you can I know the sun's like still over there in that corner so the sun's not really glaring like it should be it's like a translucent one and then like a puffery bronze one then a pink one and a gold one they're so pretty especially when blended in i usually just take a little highlighting brush and just kind of sleep over it and then i kind of just dab it on they're so stunning I feel like i need the sun to like move in front so you can really really see them but they're so pretty and then i also picked up these jelly highlighters as well these are super pretty i have like a gold one and a pink one um, but these are really pretty too i don't have anything for powder and the only powder product i have is this blush so i'll come back for that oh but first i almost forgot i have a for my powder i have this little like puff that i found at dollar tree it comes in like a pack of four here's one with all four of them in it just a cute little container with these in it and i've been really enjoying these you know the big thing now is to use like a powder puff for under your eyes and those triangle ones but um your girl broke I actually don't know how much those cost but um i'm sure it's more than what i have in my bank account at the moment so your girl is broke we use these which they're still really really nice and i like that you just take your finger in it and just kind of tap it in like this it's a little like thing for you to slide your finger in i think these are really nice we got like a couple packs of these so we are set literally set that was a bad joke did all my powder stuff except for the blush we're gonna go into that this is the ioni blush baby rose like that it's not normally a blush that i would like typically go for like color wise but i think it's really pretty for like the fall and stuff it's just really pretty usually more of like a pink blush girl but during the fall time i do like to go to more of the orangier tones i don't have any highlighters so i'm just gonna go ahead and do that real quick okay we got the highlighter i also did underneath the lash line some of this i have two different mascaras to choose from i have this la colors one and then this ioni one i'm probably just going with like both okay this either sucks or it's like really dried out <laughs> i also almost forgot my lower liner real quick so I'll just do that this stuff goes on so nice and smooth I literally love this liner pencil it's the Ioni one I guess we'll try the Ioni mascara now because the LA colors one I guess is dried out or something this one isn't really any better <laughs> the wand on this thing is like 
huge. Okay, um, I think that one was also dried out. I totally forgot I had those. I've probably been there for a little bit. I also have these like colored ones as well. Okay, they're also Maybelline. I didn't realize that. But I also have these. Honestly, not sure if these are dried out either. Okay, we'll use the blue one because it's less dried out. We can just use this on like our bottom lashes. And then my absolute favorite thing that I get from the dollar store is my lashes. I'm not going to pull every single one of them out and show you my collection unless you want me to. It could be a whole other video because I have a lot. A couple out on my desk. These are like, this is the same pair. But I have these. That is box at the moment. It usually goes in this, but I have these. These are really gorgeous and one of my favorites. I have these and I have so many more in my desk. So in this drawer, I have so many lashes and it's also even over piled into this drawer i have a couple in here as well so i have a lot okay i have a lot of lashes but lashes are also one of my favorite things to put on i also use the ioni lash glue but as i have learned as of yesterday all of my ioni lash glues have been dried out they've been just sitting there for quite a while when i like stopped making videos for like six months or however long it was so they've been sitting there for a while so they got dried out sadly because i really love those it's usually hard to find them in stock so i try to stock up on them we're just going to use some um, kiss lash adhesive instead so i don't have any of my ionis at the moment but it is a really good lash glue i think i'm just gonna go into this pair that's right here on my desk i absolutely love these lashes they're vegan and cruelty free and they're like luxury lashes at like drugstore dollar tree prices which i absolutely love because i hate spending so much money on lashes i think the most i ever spent was like 20 dollars on lashes and it was for the lily lashes i actually still have my lily lashes i just don't use them as much they're just sitting there but i love my dollar store ioni lashes especially because eventually your lashes just get too worn i mean you can wear them for quite a while as long as you take care of them but eventually they do get worn and you have to toss them and get some new ones and i don't want to have to keep spending 20 dollars on lashes when i can spend a dollar 25 on gorgeous lashes so ayani is the way to go if you can find them they're only at dollar tree and the 99 cent store i think that's what it's called we don't have one of those i wish you could buy like off their website but you can't i think you just get it in like a collection or something but it's always sold out but you can't just like go on there and just buy lashes i think i have to like buy a whole collection and that's about it you can't just go in there and like browse the selection and stuff so that's the only thing i don't like is i can't like online shop it but if you find them in like dollar tree or the 99 cent store like obviously save some for me because i love these lashes look at that oh so pretty and they don't have just long ones they have short ones as well here's like an example of a short one if it'll focus there we go. And then I have like two other short ones, but I don't normally use those. So I'm probably just gonna give those to like my mom or something. Because I like the big, bold lashes. And they have all sorts of styles. And Dollar Tree has some pretty nice finds. Name brand finds too. Always be sure to check out your Dollar Tree. Especially if you're like a girly on a budget like me. Every time I see like a new selection of these in Dollar Tree, I'm like, ooh, okay, what style do I like don't have? I'm kind of a order when it comes to makeup and lashes especially i hate throwing away my lashes but i love collecting them Just, i love i love lashes oh look how stunning these lashes are get you some ioni lashes oh my god i love these all we have left is like some lips so i'm gonna go ahead and put on some like chapstick real quick and for lips i just recently picked these up they're covergirl once again but i have this covergirl melting pout vinyl vow yeah, Vinyl Val. It's in the shade Nudish Dream. This is really pretty. They're gonna be a really pretty topper. And then also in that same little collection, I have this purple one called So Lucky. This is like really purple. And then from the Clean Fresh line, I have these little tinted lip oils. I have Swipe Ripe. I have Bad Apple. I have Juiced. This is like a translucent, like a clear kind of one. And then I have these pink ones. I'm gonna go in with this pink one. So stunning. And they feel so nice on the lips too. And it gives a really nice color. And then they also have like a deep purple one or something. Like a purple maroonish color. But I just picked up the colors that I knew I would use. Stunning. Oh, I love it. Okay, and then I also picked up a gloss. I picked up this LA Colors lip gloss as well. It smells like bubble gum and it's... Oh, it's so nice and what i really like about this gloss is that it's not i mean not like i need more shim like shimmer on but it's so nice and it's like not sticky which i hate 
hate a sticky gloss or just like anything sticky really it's a nice lip gloss and it smells like bubble gum i mean now that you could tell the shine from that between that and the lip oil but you know it's still pretty nonetheless we're just going to i think that is it for this dollar tree glam using almost a full face of dollar tree makeup me and my mom love going to dollar tree like before we go grocery shopping because we like to pick up little things we love picking up little decorations little knickknacks they have some really cute stuff i love the makeup section obviously we also get really cute socks there and all like over half of my scrunchie collection is from dollar tree as well definitely check out dollar tree honestly y'all should just like sponsor me anyways that's all i have for today's video thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed be sure to hit the subscribe button down below hit that bell so you get notified every time i post a new video also be sure to like and comment down below what you'd like to see next also be sure to follow me on my socials to get more content if i see things and yeah bye i think i look grainy but that could just be the screen that's dirty i don't even think i have a brush to clean this out with it's like clean or next for eyeliner i have picked up oops I like it like really crazy on camera. It's a super use or super use. That's not my shade. There it is. And then I also have this CoverGirl Clean Fresh brush. And then I also have this. And then I also have this CoverGirl Clean. And then I also have this CoverGirl Clean Fresh blush. That my contour is really low. This weird like triangle gap right here. I feel like I've gotten all of them, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Okay. I was like, I'm missing one. Okay, I found it. So if you like that, baby powders. Um, I have a couple different shades. I don't know what to use. Both my hands are dirty. Where did it? There it is. And it smells like lip gloss. It smells like bubble gum. <laughs> so you get more content, fancy things. That was rude. I don't even know where my phone is. Honestly, the eyes kind of pulled through. It was a rocky start at first though.